Hey! Have you ever wanted to use an instrument, or a light switch, or something else from across the room? I'm going to show you how you can do that with pulleys. Pulleys are really clever devices, and they're easy to make. The main important thing is a piece of string, like this one. You can see that this piece of string is taped to the piano key that I was playing. And as soon as I pull on this string, the piano key plays. And it doesn't matter how far away I am, as long as I'm pulling on that string. One other really cool and important thing about how pulleys work, and what they can let us do, is that they let us change the direction of our pull. This pulley is pressing the key on this piano because it's able to pull that note down. But I can choose to pull on my end of the string in any direction. I could pull it sideways. I could pull it down, just like the, uh, like the other end of the pulley does. I could pull it up. No matter what direction I pull it in, my note is still playing. And that's because pulleys can redirect the direction of a pull. That's all about how our string wraps around our pencil. So you can see that this pencil right here has our string that's come and draped over it. Because the side of the string that is attached to the key approaches this pencil by moving down toward the pencil, when the other end of the pulley gets pulled on, this string is going to pull down. But you could build other pulleys that pull on things in other directions, not just down. You could make one that pulls up or sideways for whatever purpose you want your pulley to have. To make some pulleys, you'll want to have these materials. Some cardboard, a pair of scissors, some pencils, some string, and some tape, ideally painter's tape, which is usually green or blue. Here's how we can build one of our pulleys. Let's start with the cardboard. We want to cut two rectangular strips that are longer this way. The strips that I'm cutting are about three inches by seven inches, but yours don't have to be. They don't have to be precise. But it is a good idea to have them be about the same size. So once you cut one, use one of your pencils and trace its shape onto your big sheet of cardboard before you cut your second one. That will help you make your two sheets of cardboard about the same size. I'm going to fold it about halfway into an L shape. Now that we have these two L shaped pieces of cardboard, it's time for us to use a pencil in order to join them together. And that pencil is going to be the part of our pulley that our string is going to go around.
there are all sorts of places that you can put your pulley. One that we saw already is on a piano. If you want to use your pulley to control something from a long distance away, you can attach pulleys to walls or to ceilings. Here, I've set up a pulley mechanism that can open this door with a pull of the string. So what will you make with your pulley? I can't wait to see. Thank you so much for watching this Make It video by Kid Museum. I've been Warren. Uh, hope to see you in the next one.